This is a canoe route I read about on a paddling forum, Song of the Paddle. It's a short day trip of about five miles, heading downstream on the River Avon and coming back up the Kennet and Avon Canal, which forms a rough figure of eight loop. We parked just up the road from the picturesque bridge at Limpley Stoke near Bath. The put-in is almost immediately upstream of the bridge, and on the day of our trip in April, the river was flowing quite swiftly, which meant we kicked off with a speedy and sketchy paddle upstream to make the eddy on the far bank to give us time to line up for the second arch from the right under the bridge, which we'd wrecked from above as it seemed the best route over the shallow weir. I'd imagine in lower water levels that you'd end up scraping the bottom of your boat going over the small ledge, but we both got through with just the tiniest bumps from small rocks. A serene paddle of less than a mile brought us to Dundas Aqueduct, built in the early 19th century. It carries the Avon and Kennet Canal across the River Avon and Wessex Railway. We tied up at the pontoon belonging to Moncton Rowing Club and brewed up a coffee. For such a well-known tourist spot and considering it was Easter, we were happy that we had the place to ourselves. Another mile or so downstream, we found a grassy bank for a spot of lunch, again with no one around. We sat around munching on sardines, watching some pretty varied bird life. Herons, a pair of jays, buzzards, and Wall even spotted a kingfisher. It wasn't until we got to Warley Weir that it started to get a bit busier. As it was such a warm day, people were out for a cooling dip in this well-known wild swimming spot. This was our first portage. We loaded up both canoes on Wall's trolley and had a workout with Wall pushing and me pulling up the steep hill between the river and the Kennet and Avon Canal above. After a quick brew on the canal path, we paddled just over a mile up the canal back to Dundas, this time passing over the river that we paddled down in the morning. It was a short paddle back up a straight section of the canal back to where we started. It's probably doable in less time than we took, but I'm not one for head down paddling and rushing through beautiful countryside without taking the time to loll around and enjoy it. Mm -hmm. 